Hi everyone, welcome to DIY with Nancy. Well, I'm so happy to share with you today my orange creamy tarts. In Portuguese, I call them queijadas de laranja cremosas. Super easy. Uh, if you're familiar with uh, Portuguese milk tarts or even the coconut milk tarts that I have here on my channel, almost the same, uh, similar texture. They're soft, they're creamy, and they have this delicious orange aroma and flavor. Ah, oh, and did I tell you, they're super easy to make. 25 to 30 minutes in baking time, 10 minutes in preparing the batter, and they're done. I'm gonna show you today how to make my creamy orange tarts, queijadas de laranja cremosas, step by step. So let's get to baking. Here are the ingredients you'll need for this recipe. Two and a half cups of milk, one and a quarter cups of granulated sugar, one and a quarter cups of all-purpose flour, half a cup of orange juice, zest of one orange, two tablespoons of melted butter, and I'm using unsalted butter. Here I have one tablespoon of unsalted butter to grease the cupcake tins, half a teaspoon of vanilla extract, and two large eggs. And those are the ingredients you will need for this recipe. For the first step in a medium sized saucepan, I'm going to place two and a half cups of milk. Once you have your milk in your saucepan, you're gonna turn your heat on to a low to medium heat and you want to warm up the milk. You don't want it coming to a boil. So we're gonna wait until it is warm and then I'll show you the next step. It's been warming up for about a, almost two minutes. At this point, I'm gonna turn off the heat and I'm gonna move on to the next step. Now for the next step, I have my cupcake tray here. I have the one tablespoon of unsalted butter at room temperature and I also have a pastry brush and I'm gonna use the pastry brush to grease each of the tins. I'm gonna grease it in the bottom and on the sides right to the top, just as I'm doing here. You want a generous coat. You want to make sure that uh, your queijadas de laranja don't get stuck. This is a non-stick tray, but better being safe than sorry. So you want to make sure you grease it generously. I'm going to continue greasing each of the tins. And then once it's ready, I'll show you the next step. And the last one here, and we're just gonna scoop up the rest of the butter. One tablespoon is enough. Of course, if you need more, you can uh, just get a little bit more of the butter. Now I have my cupcake tray greased with butter, and now I'm ready to move on to the next step. For the next step, in a mixing bowl, and I have a medium-sized uh, mixing bowl here, I'm gonna start off by placing the sugar, and two eggs. And I'm gonna break the eggs into the uh, little bowl here. Okay, I'm gonna place the eggs in. You can use your sand mixer for this recipe. I like to use my handheld mixer. It's pretty quick to put together. So I'm gonna mix together, combine the sugar and the eggs on high speed for about a minute until I get a creamy mixture. Now, once you have your creamy mixture with the sugar and the eggs that are combined, at this point, you're going to add your orange zest, orange juice, melted butter, and the vanilla extract. So we're gonna start off by placing the vanilla extract, melted butter, orange juice, and the orange zest. I'm gonna mix it again, make sure it's well combined. And this is where you start smelling the orange, the orange juice of the orange and the zest of the orange. Okay, and once it's well combined, and I wanna place this here, 
I'm just going to use my spatula to uh, scrape down the sides and the bottom of the bowl, make sure everything's well combined. Now at this point, you're going to add the flour. And I'm gonna place the flour in slowly while I'm mixing. So gradually add the flour. You wanna make sure you have your mixer on a low to medium speed. I'm gonna stop the mixer at this point. I'm gonna use the spatula to scrape down extra flour that we have at the edges of the bowl. One quick mix. Okay. Now at this point, we're ready to add the last ingredient and that's the milk. Now I'm going to add the last ingredient, which is the milk that I warmed up earlier and it's warm to the touch. So I'm going to place the mixer on a low speed. You don't want the milk splashing back at you. So let's put the low speed and gradually add the milk. Now, this will be a very liquidy uh, batter, uh, and this is why the orange tarts become very creamy. So you wanna just make sure you combine all the batter together, have it well combined, and at that point, you're ready to pour it into your cupcake tins. So I'm gonna continue mixing for about another 45 seconds or so. Make sure it's all well combined, scrape it down with my spatula, and we're ready for the next step. So I'm just going to scrape it down, make sure all the orange zest is combined in here. So once you mix it with the mixer, it doesn't matter if it's a stand mixer or a hand mixer, uh, you wanna make sure that uh, it's still well combined. So a spatula, if you know me, I always have one handy. Uh, scrape it down from the sides and the bottom and make sure the, well, the mixture is well combined. Okay, the batter is ready. And now I'm going to move on to the next step in filling in the cupcake tins. Now moving on to the next step, I have my cupcake tins greased with butter. I have the batter ready to go. And if you know me, uh, whenever I make a very liquidy uh, form of a cupcake, I like to use a measuring cup or a cup with a spout. So that way I can pour it in easily and I'm not making a mess. Uh, so I'm gonna be pouring the batter or the liquid batter into the measuring cup, pouring it into the cupcake tins and we're ready to place it in the oven. So let's do that. Now when filling the cupcake tins, you wanna fill it three quarters of the way full because once this batter or the cupcake tins are in the oven with this uh, liquid batter, it will puff up a little bit. So you wanna make sure you give it room to expand. So I'm gonna start pouring it into the cupcake tins, three quarters full. Okay, they're ready to go in the oven. I'm gonna bake it at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for 25 to 30 minutes, and I'll show you what they look like when they come out of the oven. And here are the quejadas laranja out of the oven. I had them in the oven for 25 minutes, and they puff out, and once they cool down, you will see that they will uh, just decrease right into the pan, have a little sink hole in the center, but that's the creamy texture of the quejada de laranja. So we're gonna let them cool completely, remove them from the tins, and I'll show you what they look like inside. Now here are the orange uh, quejadas or tarts. 
um, and they've cooled off completely uh, about 30 minutes. I just want to make sure they completely cool because I'm going to simply dust some powdered sugar on it. If you place the powdered sugar on the orange tarts while they're still warm, it will melt. So what I'm going to do for the next step, I'm going to remove the tarts. I'm going to show you how easy it is. Um, I have a non-stick cupcake pan. It's one of my favorite uh, cupcake uh, pans to make any cupcakes or tarts. Um, and I'm going to remove them, place them into a um, some cupcake uh, liners, which I have here. Dust them with some sugar. And let me show you how to do that. So let's move on to the next step. Now to remove the uh, cupcakes or the orange tarts out of the actual tin, I'm just using a spatula and I'm not going around this uh, cupcake tin to remove the tarts. It's non-stick, it's perfect, it doesn't stick. So I'm just using it to remove it, the tart from the tin. And look at that, I wanna show you. Beautiful color all the way around so soft and all i'm going to do is place the cupcake liners on a cooling rack here place the orange tart right in there and there we have it i'm going to line the cupcake liners on the cooling rack i'm going to continue placing the orange tarts in the cupcake liners Now look at the tin, nice and clean. I purchased this cupcake tin from HomeSense here in Canada, um, but you can also get it on Amazon. It's called Trudeau, T-R-U-D-E-A-U, perfect uh, cupcake tin to make any cupcakes or tarts uh, that you wanna remove out of your cupcake tin easily. Now I'm gonna simply dust some powdered sugar onto the uh, orange tarts. I can't wait to bite into these and show you what they look like inside. They're so delicious. And you just need a light dusting. You don't need too much uh, of the powdered sugar. These are very delicious. It's a perfect tart. Look at this. I wanna show you. I'm gonna just break it apart so you can see. Look at this soft and creamy. It's almost like a custard-like tart. And if you're familiar with Cajadas de Late or my coconut milk tarts, milk tarts, almost the same texture with an orange flavor. And there you have it, everyone. That's how I make my creamy orange tarts. Cajadas de Laranja Cremosas. Super easy to make. Uh, I dusted some uh, sugar uh, or powdered sugar onto the orange tart. So you don't have to, you can keep it simple. Uh, the flavor of the orange zest with the orange juice is not overpowering because what I like to do is add a little bit of vanilla extract. So the orange flavor is not overpowering the actual uh, tart. It's delicious, super easy to make. And if you're very familiar with uh, creamy tarts or are not familiar, let me explain what the texture is. It's not like a cake, uh, uh, like texture for these tarts. It's almost like um, a Portuguese milk tart, or I also have here on my channel, coconut milk tarts. That's the texture, the texture. My mouth is watering while I'm talking here because I have the tart that I broke, had in halves just to sh show you what it looks like on the inside. I'm dying to have it. Delicious, easy as you can see, and it doesn't take time, much time at all to um, to make. Very important, non-stick cupcake tin makes a whole lot of a difference. Um, I don't have to scrape the outside or the exterior of the tart uh, to remove it. It really just comes out of the tin on its own. All I have is a little spatula to help me remove it from the top so I don't break it. And make sure you let these cool 
Once they're cooled, dust the uh, powdered sugar or not, but I can tell you they're so good and delicious and I can't wait anymore. Got to bit into it. Mmm, mmm, mmm. You know when you eat a dessert, in this case, it's a creamy dessert, and it gets stuck on the top of your mouth, the flavor, it's, I, I, I can't explain it. You have to try this recipe. It's easy and delicious. And I hope you give this recipe a try. And if you like the recipe, don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time, thanks so much for watching everyone. Take care.